It is time for Night Court. Tonight's case is ripped right from today's politically charged headlines. A high school student in New Smyrna Beach, Florida, was so excited getting ready to vote in his first election that he painted a giant elephant figurine, red, white, and blue. He decked it out in a Trump sign and loaded it in the bed of his pickup truck. But his school responded by taking away 18-year-old Tyler Maxwell's parking pass. So what did he do? He sued, and tonight a judge says that the elephant can stay for now. But the legal fight is far from over, so let's start an argument about the elephant in the truck with criminal defense attorneys Brian Claypool and Bob Bianchi. I got to do that twice tonight, and I enjoyed it, so thanks for, <laughs> thanks for rolling with me. Um, all right, let's start with uh, the case that this student makes, and I want to play a soundbite from the student's attorney. Here is Exhibit A. The question is, should a student have to give up his free speech rights when he drives onto school property? And the answer to that is no, and the school just needs to realize that. So they say it's a freedom of speech case. Brian, make your case. Well, yeah, hey, Kristen, good seeing you. As much as my daughter and I love elephants, they're our favorite when we go to the L.A. Zoo. Unfortunately, we're going to have to send this elephant out of the school parking lot and back into the wilderness for the following reasons. First of all, this is what's called election litter. There are laws all across the country that ban posting of political advertisements on government property. You might ask, is a school government property? Yes, it's a special purpose, tax-funded government property. So you can't put political advertising on a government property like a school. Second, the board policy says you can't have political advertising on school premise unless it's a government activity and you can only have it during the time you're doing the activity. So you can't have it on there because there was no government activity. And last, believe it or not, I researched this, there's a Florida law that says that you can't have a political advertisement within a hundred feet of a school church park so we got to get out the measuring stick, Kristen, now and find out whether his truck is within 100 feet of that school. All right. So, Bob, what's the counter argument here? You're you're defending the you're arguing for the student. Uh, make your case. I don't care whether it's an elephant with Trump or whether it's a donkey with Biden. The fact of the matter is. Tinker versus Des Moines, United States Supreme Court decision all the way back to 1969 indicated that students' rights to the First Amendment don't end at the gate of the school. And these are some of the most cherished and protected amendment that we have. It's called the First Amendment and it's number one for a reason because it was that important to allow people to have political discourse. And essentially that decision said that they cannot chill any of those things unless there is some substantial danger, essentially, to the school. And then that was interpreted in 2004 in the 11th Circuit, mm -hmm. where Florida is, where it says, and I quote, the mere theoretical possibility of discord or simply because it gives rise to some slight unease or overlooked disruption is not enough. There must be a real and actual threat, substantial threat of disorder, uh, as opposed to the mere possibility of one. So I say to Brian's point, my good friend, I, I that got, that state law gets struck down. I love the arguments. Got to cut you off there. The student wins points for creativity. Thanks, guys. That's for sure.